if you've ever watched CSI or How to Get Away with Murder or any other investigative movie, you have probably seen forensic experts trying to find fingerprints at a crime scene with their tiny little tools. And when they do find fingerprints, the case is solved and a suspect is soon proven guilty. But what is so special about fingerprints and why are they so important? Stay tuned till the end to find out the answer to it. Tiny fine lines arranged in a pattern on your fingers are called fingerprints. Time for a fun fact. Did you know a person's fingerprints are formed when they are a tiny fetus developing in their mother's womb? The faint lines you see on your fingers and toes were entirely formed by the time you were six months old. That is, three months before you were born. I'm sure you must be wondering how did these lines appear on your fingertips? Now, we know that the skin has three main layers the upper layer or the epidermis on the outside the inner layer or the dermis and the basal layer of the epidermis in between in a fetus the middle layer grows faster than the other two layers of the skin this adds pressure on the top and bottom layers because of this pressure the top layer crumples and grows into the bottom layer giving it the effect of ridges but did you know that your genes decide your fingerprints? And just like each of us have a unique genetic code, our fingerprints are also unique. That means no one else in this world has a fingerprint like yours. Fun fact, identical twins share the same genetic code. But do they have the same fingerprint? No, identical twins do not have the same fingerprint. So now you know how unique a fingerprint is. We all unlock our mobile phones with our unique fingerprints. We also have a smart home technology where we can open our main door with our unique fingerprint. Thanks to technology, we have reduced thefts to a great extent. It is believed in a few years, we may use our fingerprints instead of a pin to authenticate payments made by a card or e-wallets. This will help reduce cyber crimes in the future. So, what does a fingerprint look like? Researchers say that there are three major types of fingerprint patterns. Number one, the loop. The lines in this type of fingerprint curve around themselves to form a loop. This is the most popular fingerprint pattern. Almost 60 to 70% of the total population have this pattern. Number two, the whirl. In this pattern, the lines form circular or spiral patterns like tiny whirlpools. This fingerprint pattern makes up to 25 to 35% of the total population. Number three, the arc. The arc has a wave-like pattern. It is the rarest type of fingerprint. In fact, about 5% of the world's population has this fingerprint pattern. Now, look at your thumb on the right hand for 10 seconds and figure out the pattern of your fingerprint. Mine looks like a loop. Tell us about your fingerprint pattern in the comments section. So let's summarize this video in three points. Number one, your fingerprint is just as unique as you. Number two, Fingerprints can prove anyone guilty or innocent in a criminal trial. Number three, and they are as permanent as a permanent tattoo. That's all for today. For more such informative videos, like, share and subscribe to Let's Tute. Thank you.